Okay, so we have our siding installed up into our window here. Uh, so now we have this window in our way to deal with. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to cut around um, this window. Uh, but before we actually get to cutting our piece out, uh, we need to talk about um, this utility channel here that's gonna go up underneath our window um, to help secure this piece that we cut. So if we have a piece of siding here, um, we're gonna have a piece that's gonna come um, around here, down below this window, back up and to the side. Um, we're gonna basically cut off this, um, this starter strip on this piece. And if we were to just leave that B um, behind this uh, J trim here without any um, support, um, a wind will come in here and it'll start um, flapping in the wind. Um, and on a stormy night, that'll just drive you crazy. Um, so what, what you can do is you can put this utility strip up in here um, and then this piece of siding can then um, slide up into that utility strip and now it'll be secure once this is nailed in there and that wind can't blow it around. So uh, one quick thing, uh, whenever you cut this to length, this usually comes in about 12 to 13 foot lengths. Uh, you wanna make sure you cut it short enough that it's not um, running past the side of your window here. So you have your J trim, but then your window comes back a little bit. Um, so you wanna make sure that you cut it short enough that your siding can come up um, to the side here um, and you have enough play in there. So just make sure you cut it um, a little bit skinnier than the sides of your window. Um, and we can go ahead and nail that in place, but I wanted to um, show you one more tool here. Um, this is a, a vinyl snap punch here. And basically what this does is this is gonna make little holes in your siding um, and it makes this little ridge here. Um, so if you didn't have that ridge and you went up into this utility strip, um, basically this could accidentally blow out of there. Um, but with that little ridge, that'll catch on this utility strip and it won't come out. There's this little um, loop on the inside of this strip um, that once that goes in, that clicks into place and now it can't come out. So once we, once we cut our piece out for our window, we'll come along here and make a bunch of these little holes here. That way when we install this, um, it'll click in there nice and good and can't come out and won't move on us. So we'll go ahead and install this piece. Make sure it's clear from the sides of our window here and just install with a couple of roofing nails. One here, one here. There we go. Now we're ready to measure out for our window opening. So we have one more piece of pre-cut siding here. It still goes from inside to inside of our, um, or our corner post here. So now what we need to do is cut this out um, so we can slip it around our window. What we don't want to do is we don't want to make a cut here um, to put our piece over here, make a cut here to put our piece over here, and then cut out a piece. That's just uh, poor craftsmanship. Um, you put two more seams in the wall that you don't have to, and they're not gonna be um, weather tight. So just cut it out of one piece. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. Um, so what I actually do is I go ahead and put this piece of siding in and just slide it down um, so it's in place. And now there's no measuring involved. Um, you just hold it kind of level there and then move it back and forth so it's nice and centered in your opening. And now you can take your pencil and um, mark right where the inside of that window is. So make note, I'm not going to the edge of my J trim. I'm going back behind here to where the side of the window is um, to make a mark. I'll come over here, do the same thing, make a mark. And now I know that that's gonna be the width of my cut. So then the only thing I need to do is figure out the depth of my cut. And to do that, I'm gonna um, put my tape measure to the bottom of the window. Again, not the J trim, but the actual bottom up underneath here. 
and then I'm gonna measure down to the bottom of my starter strip. So here I got three and five eighths, and it's a good idea, especially on a bigger window, to measure all the way across. And here I have about a sixteenth more than three and five eighths. So we're running pretty level. Um, what I'll do then is basically, so I measured um, from our starter strip. So I'm not gonna measure down from the top. I'm gonna measure from where that starter strip would be um, once this piece of siding is up. So I'm gonna subtract just a hair um, from our measurement uh, because again, this is vinyl and you want a little bit of breathing room there. So this is three and five eighths. I'm gonna go three and a half. Make a mark there. I'll come on the other side here. And go three and a half. All right. And now what I'm gonna do is connect those dots and we'll cut out this um, square here. So I'm gonna level down or square down this line from the edges of our window here. Do the same on this side. Okay. And then you can get a straight edge um, and then go ahead and connect that bottom line. Okay. So now before you actually cut this piece, it's a good idea um, just to kind of hold the piece up there and just make sure that your cut makes sense. Um, especially when you're doing a lot of siding, it's easy to accidentally take that measurement from the top um, and then you'd be not cutting enough or you'd accidentally cut too much in some cases. So just double check your measurement to make sure that uh, what you're cutting out actually makes sense, which this looks pretty good. Um, so we can go ahead now and cut this piece out real quick. Again, we're just gonna use our tin snips here. And you wanna try to be somewhat accurate with this, um, but again, it doesn't have to be completely perfect because it's going behind J trim. So you're not gonna see this cut edge. But you do wanna make sure that you're not taking off too much material um, so that you accidentally aren't behind your J trim. That would be bad. So we got our piece cut out. Um, we can kind of just stick it in there real quick just to make sure uh, that it's gonna fit. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna snap it in place yet. I just wanted to make sure that it's gonna fit. Um, looks like everything fits nice and tight. So, or I should say nice and neat. We don't want it to be uh, super tight. Uh, but that last, last thing that we want to do then is take our snap punch and then make our little, um, little raises here for it to snap into our utility strip that we installed. Um, one important thing to note is you can accidentally uh, do these upside down. So basically you want to be able to feel that ridge once you uh, once you snap this. So I just did that one backwards. I can't feel a ridge. So we'll do one right here. Now I can feel that bump. So you want to do every few inches along this flat part here. That way when it snaps into place it can't come back out. And you're doing it right along this top edge here. You don't want to come too far down. 
because then you're not doing anything with your snaps. Then they might show. So once you got those in place, go ahead and slide the piece into place. All right, and then we can go ahead and shove it and click it into place. Center it in the opening. All right, and now that piece is installed. So our edges are hidden by our corner post. The J trim of our window, top and bottom, were secured with that utility strip. This isn't gonna move at all with wind. And again, we're hidden over here. So. Now we can continue to nail this piece off into our studs and we'll be able to um, cut smaller pieces in between um, the window and the corner post. We'll go ahead and get to the top of the window and we'll cut another piece for the top.